ऑस्ट्रेलिया यूके कैनेडा यूएस न्यूजीलैंड आयरलैंड If you want to work, study or live at any of these places, then the first test that comes to your mind is an IELTS test. And you watching this video means that either you're thinking of booking an IELTS test or your test is tomorrow. Either way, welcome. Because today we're going to talk about the most feared round and what you can do to prepare for it. Because in today's video we are going to see what is the IELTS test format but more specifically what is the IELTS speaking test format 10 IELTS speaking tips but most importantly towards the end I'll give you a bonus tip so that you get over the nervousness of appearing for the speaking round but before that if you like what I'm saying make sure you hit that big fat like button because it tells me that I should make more videos about English and communication let's begin <laughs> So here are the four things that you need to know about the IELTS test format. It has two main modules. IELTS Academics is for studying abroad and IELTS General Training is if you want to work abroad or for immigration. At the end of the test you will get a band score from 1 to 9. 1 being the lowest and 9 meaning that you are an expert user of the English language. While booking you can either choose a paper based test or computer delivered test. both the tests are same just the mode of taking the test is different some people find the computer delivered test better because it is easier to see the word count uh, make notes no handwriting issues etc finally comes the structure the test is divided into four parts listening reading writing and speaking we have discussed the format and how to prepare for each of these rounds in my previous video if you haven't watched it already then do check it out I've left the link in the description. As mentioned earlier, today our focus is the speaking round. The speaking round lasts for around 11 to 14 minutes and has three parts. Part 1 is introduction. For about 4 to 5 minutes, the interviewer will ask you questions to get to know you better. So expect questions about your family, work, interests, what movies you like, what music you like. In part 2, you will be given a topic card and 1 minute to prepare. After that 1 minute, you are expected to speak continuously on that topic for about 1 to 2 minutes without any interruption from the examiner. Don't worry, the topic does not test your general knowledge or current affairs. It will be a general topic like uh, the last vacation you took your ideal job or describe a well known person that you admire the most now after you're done speaking part 3 will be a conversation between you and the examiner it lasts for around 4 to 5 minutes where the examiner will ask you questions related to the topic in part 2 throughout the speaking round the examiner is testing you on four parameters number 1 how fluent you are that is your ability to form complete sentences number 2 how vast your vocabulary is number 3 your grammar and number 4 pronunciation even if you have a thick indian accent like me it doesn't necessarily work against your favor as long as you maintain a rhythm and your pronunciation is correct for the examiner to understand you with these four parameters in mind let's look at the 10 speaking tips that will help you prepare for this round i have divided these tips into two parts five things to do before and five things to do during the test so let's start with five speaking tips that will help you before you appear for the test number 1 get to know your speaking style open the voice recorder app on your phone hit the record button and start speaking on topics like my favorite food item why i love my city my favorite book when you play it back notice three things number 1 how is your pronunciation number 2 are you using any cuss words like oh shit oh f- god damn it and number 3 are you using too much of modern slang 
like uh, salty, lit, basic, extra. Because only when you hear yourself back, do you realize what pronunciation you need to set right and what slang you need to cut down. Number two, develop your vocabulary. Vocabulary is one of the parameters the examiner is testing you on. So open a thesaurus and find synonyms of the words you use often. For example, suppose you use the word awesome a lot. So learn as many of its synonyms like breathtaking, impressive, astonishing. Because the more words you use, the better your band score will be. Another way to improve your vocabulary is to learn how to express your feelings better using this feelings field. As you can see, each feeling branches out to multiple specific emotions. So instead of just saying happy, use a relevant emotion like hopeful, loving, optimistic, powerful. Isn't this the simplest way to learn or what? If you want to know more about how to improve your vocabulary easily, then check out this video. I have left the link in the description. Tip number three, do not memorize your answers. Of course, we know that part one is going to be introduction. But that doesn't mean that you're going to learn your intro by heart. Because an examiner can spot this and might give you zero to less marks if the answer looks prepared. Number four, know the English equivalent of your local words. See, I am from Hyderabad. So if somebody asks me about my city, I will talk about Biryani, Charminar and high tech city. But the examiner might not know what these are. So whenever I mention them, I'll follow it up with a quick description of what these are. For example, my favorite dish is Biryani. Biryani is a type of rice pilaf that's very famous in my city. Similarly, roti is flatbread. Charminar is a monument with four minarets located in Hyderabad. In fact, Hyderabad is a city in the southern part of India. You see what I mean? Instead of the examiner thinking that you are pronouncing something wrong, let the examiner know what that word means or what its significance is. And number five, the only way to get a better band score in the speaking round is to speak as much as you can in English. So talk to your friends, find a group with whom you can speak in English with, or just have random conversations with people, especially with the ones who are trying to sell you something, either over phone or in the mall. Now, here are the five speaking tips for during the test. Number one, Try not to use the same words over and over again. This city makes me happy, the food makes me happy, the people make me happy. Instead, use more adjectives. This city is magnificent. The food here is delicious. And the people here are so welcoming. Did you see that? These are just simple words, but they show variety. In part two, when you're given a topic and one minute to prepare, write down bullet points related to that topic during that one minute. For example, suppose your topic is describe a well-known person that you admire and why. Then write down bullet points related to who this person is, what qualities about them that you like the most, uh, why are they famous, so on and so forth. Because these bullet points will give a nice structure to your talk and will also act as a guide in case you go blank while speaking. Number three, maintain a steady pace. Try not to speak too fast because then we sound nervous, make mistakes and pronounce words incorrectly. So maintain a steady pace and maybe speed up or slow down at a few places, especially when you're telling a story. Number four, give a little bit more detail. Don't just give one word answers. Suppose you're talking about your hobbies. Don't just say, I like badminton give a little bit more detail. Why do you like badminton? Whom do you play with? How does it make you feel? The examiner wants to know if you can speak in English fluently. So speak up. And number five, finally, relax. Don't think of the examiner as an examiner. Think of them as your friend because then you will finally focus on your English and the conversation. Instead of worrying about how they are judging you or what band score they'll give. And one of the ways of getting used to facing the examiner is to use Camly. This video is brought to you by them. 
because this app helps you conduct one-on-one -on -one private speaking classes with IELTS tutors around the world from US, UK, Canada who are available 24-7. These tutors will help you practice by conducting mock IELTS speaking classes and they'll provide feedback on how to improve your IELTS speaking score. Just like this. On Cambly, our teachers are trained to train students for the IELTS so we can practice the test with them. Mm -hmm. And we will write down all of the mistakes mm. that they make. Right. And we will give them their mistakes. And then we will work on their mistakes. Slowly, they will improve. And at the same time, we will teach them idioms. And their confidence will grow the more they are on Cambly. Talking to these tutors helps because they are experienced native speakers. And some are examiners as well. And if you're preparing for IELTS, then I've got a sweet deal for you. If you use the link in the description, then you will receive a flat 37% discount on all the three-month packages. So check out Camly and decide if it's the right speaking partner for you. So those were the top 10 speaking tips that will help you get a better band score. Now before I tell you the bonus tip, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Because I make career, finance and English related videos regularly. IELTS is an English language proficiency test, which means that there's no right or wrong answer. The examiner just wants to find out if you can express your ideas and your opinions in English fluently. And the only way to do that is to practice as much as you can. So today's bonus tip is this. Give yourself enough time. Suppose you're currently at band 6 and you want to reach band 8. Then give yourself enough time to reach band 8 before you appear for the test. It's not about which location you take the test from. It's not about how many times you take it. It's just about how prepared you are. So you go find that friend and start speaking to them in English. And I'll go and work on my next video. But before I say goodbye, I have a happy announcement about my company called Skillo. Over 500 startups had applied to the Telangana Startup Incubation Hub called Lab32. And we were one of the 45 startups who got selected. Instead of just making 12 minutes videos on YouTube, we are creating full-fledged courses for you on Skillo. And the first course is titled Interview Preparation, which will have 15 plus videos covering the most asked behavioral questions during interviews. I'm still building the course. So if you have specific requests about which questions I should cover in that course, then comment below and let me know. And if you want to help me design the product, follow me on Instagram because I keep posting options to ask you which design you like best or which logo you like better. After all, we are building the product for you. So your opinion matters the most to me. For more updates on the release date of the course, stay tuned. I promise to see you again in the next video. Until then, keep fighting the urban fight to be fit.